All right, hello, wine drinking people. Time for more of what I've had to drink yesterday, and our friend Cynthia was in, and she's been stopping in a lot lately. Hey, that's how you get more business here at the Wine Watch, you know. In addition to all the wines we have in the store, we've got a new type of item, and all the reps that stop by and taste this on wine now get their wines listed as available up on our website immediately. Well, the week after we taste the wines, they get listed, and our reviews go up there, and the pricing. So you, our wine-drinking people, have an even better selection of wines to pick from on our webpage. Just takes two days, usually, to get the wine in, and uh, get some great little wines here that, uh, like I said, we can't buy everything that we really like. We've already got 20,000 bottles in the store and counting. Anyways, we started out this tasting with a little Staglin Family Vineyards, the Salas Chardonnay, which is their entry-level wine. It's unoaked, so pure, unadulterated Chardonnay. This wine's got a lovely fresh green apple and zesty lemon citrus with pretty white flowers on the nose. A really clean, fruit-driven style of Chardonnay with a short but pleasant finish. A very good little wine at $36. And the Sotimano up next. This is a small producer. These guys, all estate-grown stuff. Their Barbarity Alba, Palolero. It's the name of the vineyard. It's a single vineyard wine. Actually, it's two different vineyard sites right side by side, about 2.5 hectares, only 1,000 cases produced. All these wines made in very limited uh, production. This wine's got some nice dark berry fruit, blackberry, black cherry, notes of fresh earth, some black truffle, and uh, organically farmed here. So these wines are you know, not going to leave a bad taste in your tummy. And a good amount of that dark berry fruit showing on the palate with uh, nice freshness. You know, Barbera does not have the tannic structure of Nebbiolo, but it's got great acidity, so stands up to a lot of different food very well. The Sotomato Barbaresco Fassoni, and uh, this is a great vintage 2010, a single vineyard wine, one of their smallest crews, only 1.5 hectares. 35-year-old vines, they make about 500 cases, and this wine has an incredible bouquet of dark cherry liqueur, kind of minty, floral, exotic spices, red li licorice, really lovely bouquet here, big and structured, even bigger on the second day, a host of that dried floral, exotic spices, and some tannins coming in here. Hey, this is Nebbiolo from a great vintage, a wine you want to keep for 10 or 15 years or more in your cellar. This wine's big, tannic, but has everything in proportion. Excellent juice at $59.75. All right, to finish off, a little cava, or, uh, well, this is an old house, Reventos, Blanco Concha del Rio, Anoya. Um, so this is Barcelona, so I don't know. I guess it's outside of the Penides area. or Anyway, it's a very old house. The great-grandfather helped establish Cordenu, which is the largest sparkling wine producer in the world. And this is a blend of all three traditional cava varietals, Macabeo, Charlo, and um, Periata. Okay, I forgot the third one there. Wow. 15 months entourage. You get a little bit of that yeast autolysis. And uh, these wines have a very distinct mineral component to it, a briny kind of uh, uh, salty character you get from the wines of cava. They have a lot of fruit. It's more of a content. It's more of a Mediterranean as opposed to a continental climate that you get in Champagne. But they're made the same way, the method Champenoise, which is the important part. And uh, a lot of nice juicy fruit here, lemon, quince, some green apple, a smooth and creamy wine on the tongue with notes of ginger spice, that tongue tingly minerality, that briny character, and a little bit of that yeasty kind of no nuance you get from uh, Champagne. Pain, that yeast autolysis, but an excellent little bottle of bubbly for $22.25. That's what we had to drink with our friends uh, from Augustine, Cynthia. I'm your host, Andrew Lampasoni, signing off for the Wine Watch, saying, remember, always drink the good stuff first.